And basically, this is to decide who is the number two at the moment behind Barrera. Marquez in the black trunks here, the Mexican who... Marquez is very good to the body, but he'll be very worried about when he closes the range, getting his punch will be the big factor in this fight. Negative so far, Kena. Some other work as well in the meantime. The body punches that he's looking for, the classic tactics, and there's a lot of body to aim at as well with Gaina. Talk and upheaval in the press because Gaina was upset that Marquez said he was scared of a breakdown for financial reasons. Now, Marquez, exactly how he looks. the jab as well he keeps jabbing the left glove of Marquez rather than win that jab maybe he's trying to draw Marquez onto something else but he's certainly not trying to score with the jab again the smiles he's caught with a sharp right hand to the head that time from Marquez that one did land a bit hard so did that too hitting and loading up with it and Marquez is reading it it's almost thrown free and again he Norton's to the referee to shine himself. And what very difficult to shine when you only somebody so negative. A point got to come when he's got to read. He's starting to draw a bit more. That he should be using to a much better effect is that jab, that southpaw jab. I just wonder if the referee might be a little more proactive in getting things away against Marquez's last victim, Marcos Licona. He's been one of the sparring partners, I understand. Marquez starting to get... Green punches. Covers up well. It really is. It's very poor, Ian. It takes two to make a fight, and really, Marquez is the only... Left hands to the body twice. Gainer, a world champion who in any case has got a big job on his hands with Medina in that rematch. This is a good puncher as well. They're starting to rising up from the well of the hall here in Grand Rapids. They paid their money, they wanted a bit more. You can't really blame Marquez. Of Gainer is riding up very, very high, I've noticed. Almost as high as Marvin Hagel used to have. It's a right hand, catches him and cuts him as well. Gainer is looking at the referee, sending out distress signals. He's talking to the referee, and there's a right hand. And a... Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has been called to a halt because of an accidental headbutt and an injury suffered by Derek Smoke Gaynor. Under the unified rules, we go to the scorecards, up to and including the seventh round. The scoring is as follows. Dave Hess scores it 70 to 63. John Parrish, 69 to 64. Steve Tarno has it 70 to 63, all for the winner by unanimous decision, and now the unified IBF WBA featherweight world champion, Juan Manuel Marquez. Gets it on the scorecards, he had to.